Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, of course. Today, I've got something new I'm gonna show you. It's the VAC 100 Chamber Sealer from JBR Industries, brand new to the market. They sent me one to test out. I'm gonna show you exactly what this bad boy can do. I will be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, all, one of the things I want to show you is just how it sits here on the counter. Um, if you look, um, how it sits there, it's actually a lot lower, um, not as high or as tall as the uh, Vac Masters, and it's got a little bit bigger footprint than the Avid Armor, but um, not too much bigger. I mean, it's a little bit um, uh, longer as far as from the front to the back, but it does give you more space. It's got a 12 and a half inch seal bar so it does give you um, the ability to use the wider bags it's also um, a little bit more uh, stout it's got a bigger pump so it's a little bit heavier it's about instead of 30 pounds like the Abbott armor it's about 50 pounds but then again the vac masters are like in the 80 pound range so it's kind of an in-between like I said the vac master and the Abbott armor but this is still a commercial quality unit. So just wanted to kind of show you how it sits on the counter. It's still got a, you know, a good footprint. All right, we're gonna go and do a little walkthrough of the unboxing. All right, guys, well, this is what it looked like when it came to me in the box. I did, uh, this was already open, so, but you can see the really thick uh, tape uh, on the outside, uh, the double corrugated box here with styrofoam. So uh, it was packed really well. I didn't have any issues whatsoever with the uh, box or the packaging. Um, it does tell you right up front that there is no oil in the vacuum pump. It does come with a little bottle of oil to fill that up with and it's very easy to do. It is in the instructions on how to do it. It also comes with some sample uh, bags, so not a lot. Uh, just like a few of each different size so you can kind of figure out which size you want and order more. All the uh, accessories are inside the chamber it does come with the uh, uh, actual canister uh, accessory uh, comes with two uh, spacer plates that you can put in there comes with the an extra tape for your seal bar and an extra gasket as well so this is what it looks like coming out of the box and that's all right. so let's take a look at it all right, so you can see it's uh, stainless steel here on the sides, all around is stainless steel. It's plastic here on the top. Also, the inside of the chamber is uh, hard molded plastic. Unlike the VP210 or VP215 with VacMaster and some of the other uh, heavier, higher, uh, you know, bigger units from the commercial side, they're usually uh, steel inside the container as well. And I think this is where some of that uh, space savings come, or the weight savings comes with this unit is, this is hard molded plastic. Um, I don't see an issue with that uh, over the metal. I don't think hard um, molded plastic is gonna last any less long as uh, steel would. So um, it is really thick, hard plastic. One of the things this unit does come with, it does come with a two spacer. Um, spacer blocks here just two of these just like some of the other commercial units uh, come with it has a removable steel bar here and you can change out the uh, seal tape here really easy and it just sits right in there it does have these two um, these are bag holders so you, you slide your the end of your bag into uh, these little clips and it, what it does it kind of keeps the bag semi open and in place when it's um, being vacuum sealed it does have a kind of a cutout if you can see there it's got kind of a cutout in here so you can put your mason jars and and uh, deeper bags and stuff with liquid in them in there with no problem um, I'm gonna measure it here in a minute I'll give you the overall measurements and in, in next clip this is where your vacuum comes out here and one of the things this did come with is a little unit here to use with containers so if you have containers that you can use with other vacuum sealers you can use those with this 
little attachment that comes with it. It goes over your vacuum uh, sealer here and then outside of the unit and then on top of the container. One of the things I want to do show you, this works, this lid is solid ballistic style glass. It's really, really thick and they actually on their uh, website or on their YouTube channel for uh, JBR, they actually show a, a, a pallet loader actually running over one of these and without it breaking. So it's very, very thick. I, I don't think there's ever going to be an issue with this cracking or breaking. It is full ballistic glass. It does have a little, uh, let me show you, get you back in the video. This uh, foam uh, gasket here goes right on top of the seal bar and it connects the, uh, pushes the seal bar, uh, the bag holds it pretty much in place so that when your bag is on the seal bar, it's not going to move around at all. It's going to be held in place by this um, little uh, rubber gasket that's on the on the bottom of this uh, bottom of the lid here. So just make sure that you always want to make sure that's you know lined up correctly because it could catch on the sides, so you don't get the uh, uh, proper seal when you close this up. It does have a nice rubber uh, seal around here that's replaceable. They're really cheap to replace. Um, so if you ever need that, um, you can always order one and put it in, put it in yourself. It's really easy to install. I did want to show you, see this little um, button here in the back. This works just like the VacMasters VP10 and VP250 uh, or VP210 and VP215, where once you close the lid and this is on, it will automatically start running. So you're not going to want to have this down all the way. You're kind of going to want to have it sitting just slightly open like that when it's not in use. Just like some of the other uh, chamber sealers, it does have two power switches. It has one on the back here that's uh, behind by the power cord that you can turn on and off. I usually leave that one on, but it also has a power button right here on the front to turn it on. And as you can see, it's got a little LCD display. Um, what else should I go over? Yeah. So, like I said, when this is turned on, it will automatically start going as soon as you close this up. It does have a little sign on here that says push. When it first starts going, you want to kind of hold it down so until it starts getting the vacuum. And you'll kind of feel it. It'll start sucking down and the gasket will kind of... Uh, squish down and then then you can you usually hold it for like you know two or uh, five or six seconds and then the vacuum takes over and you don't have to worry about it I'll kind of show you how that works also has a stop button so in case you start vacuuming something real quick and you decide ah I want to stop it does have a stop button so just make sure you pull it off of the the button before you uh, you know just don't leave it like that because it will come back on and try to start it again uh what else okay that's pretty much as far as that goes um i want to show you the rest of the controls but i also am going to measure the inside and the outside dimensions so let me go grab my tape measure and i'll be right back all right i got my tape measure here so first of all i just want to kind of show you what the dimensions are here across. So just about 16 and a half inches wide across and lengthwise front to back. It's right at 20 or 19 and a half, 19 and a half that way, um, 16 and a half this way and deep. Let's just go here. Let's just go right to there. That's about it. So it's about four, four and a half inches deep in the center well and on the side here it's about three three and a half inches on this here so about three and a half inches to here to the gasket itself now you do have a little bit more room in there so maybe three just a little over three and a half inches uh, if you're using one uh, you know just on the sides here but you know a good four four and a quarter inches with that little hole in the middle now, if you use these uh, plates here, what those plates do will give you, it'll bring the bag up a little closer. And also, 
it doesn't need as much uh, vacuum time to uh, suck out all the air in the chamber so that's what those do there's actually you can have two of these in there and it'll, it'll bring it up pretty high so if you have something really flat or something small and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time waiting for the uh, air to be sucked out of the chamber you can lower the uh, time of the vacuum so that's what the measurements are on that all right guys so here's the control panel you got your power button here um, that controls the power from the front so you see the LCD screen lit up also have my stop button so in case I am in the middle of vacuum sealing something and I want to stop it I can hit stop and it'll shut everything down uh, my set bar my set buttons right here so this is where I can hit set and adjust the vacuum time the seal time cool down time there's like three or four different uh, adjustments you can make and it's all spelled out in the owner's manual you hit set to the uh, to what the thing you want to change and you use your up and down arrows to increase or decrease your uh, time for your vacuum or your seal bar or your cool down time what have you so it's pretty easy to do um, again your pressure gauge is not there's no analog pressure gauge so you'll see a little pressure bar on the LCD screen so it will uh, show you the increased pressure as it goes down um, as the unit is um, sucking the air out of the unit so um, that's pretty easy also I want to make sure you understand that there is a pump only button and what you can do is use your canister accessory hose for that you get to put that right over the uh, where the vacuum comes out of the unit and it goes right over that and then the other end goes on top of the canister and then you press the pump button until it um, sucks all the air out of the canister so it's pretty easy to use and that also is in the uh, instruction manual so uh, make sure you understand that the, the pump will automatically engage when you close the lid all the way so just remember that all right I'll be right back Other than that, guys, this is uh, retailing at around $8.99, but I'm working with the manufacturer to see if I can get a promo code to get you guys a discount. Hopefully by the time this video is released, I'll have a good discount code for you guys and with free shipping and all that, and you can check it out um, in the description down below. I'm sure I'll have that, but if you're in the, in the market for a really commercial type vacuum sealer but you don't want the space you don't want to have one that takes up all the space and it's not as heavy like i said that's the big thing with this one i think this one is a good in between the avid armor that i have which is more geared towards the uh, regular home user and the vp215 this is a good in between unit for somebody who has a bunch of uh, vacuum sealing need but doesn't quite have the space or want the uh, the, the big uh, you know heavy heavy commercial unit that that um, VP 215 is so check it out guys I'm gonna leave a link below to their website like I said JVR has been in business since 1972 primarily on the commercial side so they've been making vacuum sealing units for a long time this is just their first venture into the home use uh, side or the retail side so check it out make sure you follow us on facebook instagram twitter follow us on the fire and water cooking podcast and i'll see you again on the next fire and water cooking video take care mm -hmm.